A phase change material is a substance with a high heat of fusion which, melting and solidifying at a certain temperature, is capable of storing and releasing large amounts of energy. Heat is absorbed or released when the material changes from solid to liquid and vice versa. Thus, PCMs are classified as latent heat storage units. Characteristics and classification PCMs latent heat storage can be achieved through liquid or euro solid, solid or euro liquid, solid or euro gas, and liquid or euro gas phase change. However, the only phase change used for PCMs is the solid or euro liquid change. Liquid gas phase changes are not practical for use as thermal storage due to the large volumes or high pressures required to store the materials when in their gas phase. Liquid or euro gas transitions do have a higher heat of transformation than solid or euro liquid transitions. Solid or euro solid phase changes are typically very slow and have a rather low heat of transformation. Initially, the solid or euro liquid PCMs behave like sensible heat storage materials. Their temperature rises as they absorb heat. Unlike conventional SHS, however, when PCMs reach the temperature at which they change phase they absorb large amounts of heat at an almost constant temperature. The PCM continues to absorb heat without a significant rise in temperature until all the material is transformed to the liquid phase. When the ambient temperature around a liquid material falls, the PCM solidifies, releasing its stored latent heat. A large number of PCMs are available in any required temperature range from a 5 up to 190 a degree Celsius. Within the human comfort range between 20 a euro 30 a degree Celsius, some PCMs are very effective. They store 5 to 14 times more heat per unit volume than conventional storage materials such as water, masonry or rock. Equals organic PCMs equals paraffin and fatty acids to and coo, advantages. Freeze without much undercooling, ability to melt congruently, self nucleating properties, compatibility with conventional material of construction, no segregation, chemically stable, high heat of fusion, safe and non reactive, recyclable. Disadvantages low thermal conductivity in their solid state. High heat transfer rates are required during the freezing cycle, volumetric latent heat storage capacity is low, flammable. This can be partially alleviated by specialist containment, to obtain reliable phase change points, most manufacturers use technical grade paraffins which are essentially paraffin mixture, S, and are completely refined of oil, resulting in high costs. Equals inorganic equals, salt hydrates, advantages, high volumetric latent heat storage capacity, availability and low cost, sharp melting point, high thermal conductivity, high heat of fusion, non-flammable. Disadvantages, change of volume is very high, supercooling is major problem and solid or euro liquid transition, nucleating agents are needed and they often become inoperative after repeated cycling. Equals eutectics equals, organic organic, organic inorganic, inorganic inorganic compounds, advantages, eutectics have sharp melting points similar to pure substance, Volumetric storage density is slightly above organic compounds. Disadvantages Only limited data is available on thermophysical properties as the use of these materials are relatively new to thermal storage application. Equals hygroscopic materials equals, Many natural building materials are hygroscopic, that is they can absorb and release water. The process is thus, condensation IHO. Enthalpy increases absorbs heat. Whilst this process liberates a small quantity of energy, large surfaces area allows significant heating or cooling in buildings. The corresponding materials are wall insulation, earth clay render finishes. Selection criteria, thermodynamic properties. The phase change material should possess, melting temperature in the desired operating temperature range, high latent heat of fusion per unit volume, high specific heat, high density and high thermal conductivity, small volume changes on phase transformation and small vapor pressure at operating temperatures to reduce the containment problem, congruent melting. Kinetic properties, high nucleation rate to avoid supercooling of the liquid phase, high rate of crystal growth, so that the system can meet demands of heat recovery from the storage system. 
chemical properties, chemical stability, complete reversible freeze melt cycle, no degradation after a large number of freeze melt cycle, non corrosiveness, non toxic, non flammable, and non explosive materials. Economic properties, low cost, availability. Thermophysical properties of common PCMs, volumetric heat capacity jar ma 3 a car 1. Thermal inertia equals thermal effusivity jar ma 2 a car 1 is R 1 half. Thermophysical properties of commercially available PCMs near room temperature, the above data set is also available as an Excel spreadsheet from UCLA Engineering. Technology, development and encapsulation, the most commonly used PCMs are salt hydrates, fatty acids and esters, and various paraffins. Recently also ionic liquids were investigated as novel PCMs. As most of the organic solutions are water-free, they can be exposed to air, but all salt-based PCM solutions must be encapsulated to prevent water evaporation or uptake. Both types offer certain advantages and disadvantages and if they are correctly applied some of the disadvantages becomes an advantage for certain applications. They have been used since the late 19th century as a medium for the thermal storage applications. They have been used in such diverse applications as refrigerated transportation for rail and road applications and their physical properties are, therefore, well known. Unlike the ice storage system, however, the PCM systems can be used with any conventional water chiller both for a new or alternatively retrofit application. The positive temperature phase change allows centrifugal and absorption chillers as well as the conventional reciprocating and screw chiller systems or even lower ambient conditions utilizing a cooling tower or dry cooler for charging the TES system. The temperature range offered by the PCM technology provides a new horizon for the building services and refrigeration engineers regarding medium and high temperature energy storage applications. The scope of this thermal energy application is wide ranging of solar heating, hot water, heating rejection, that is cooling tower and dry cooler circuitry thermal energy storage applications. Since PCMs transform between solid or euro liquid and thermal cycling, encapsulation naturally become the obvious storage choice. Encapsulation of PCMs, macro encapsulation, Early development of macro encapsulation with large volume containment failed due to the poor thermal conductivity of most PCMs. PCMs tend to solidify at the edges of the containers preventing effective heat transfer. Micro encapsulation, micro encapsulation on the other hand showed no such problem. It allows the PCMs to be incorporated into construction materials, such as concrete, easily and economically. Microencapsulated PCMs also provide a portable heat storage system. By coating a microscopic sized PCM with a protective coating, the particles can be suspended within a continuous phase such as water. This system can be considered a phase change slurry. Molecular encapsulation is another technology, developed by DuPont and Amours that allows a very high concentration of PCM within a polymer compound. It allows storage capacity up to 515 kilojoules per meter 2 for a 5 mm board. Molecular encapsulation allows drilling and cutting through the material without any PCM leakage. As phase change materials perform best in small containers, therefore they are usually divided in cells. The cells are shallow to reduce static header euro based on the principle of shallow container geometry. The packaging material should conduct heat well and it should be durable enough to withstand frequent changes in the storage material's volume as phase changes occur. It should also restrict the passage of water through the walls, so the materials will not dry out. Packaging must also resist leakage and corrosion. Common packaging materials showing chemical compatibility with room temperature PCMs include stainless steel, polypropylene and polyolefin. Thermal composites Thermal composites is a term given to combinations of phase change materials and other structures. A simple example is a copper mesh immersed in a paraffin wax. The copper mesh within paraffin wax can be considered a composite material, dubbed a thermal composite. Such hybrid materials are created to achieve specific overall or bulk properties. Thermal conductivity is a common property which is targeted for maximization by creating thermal composites. 
In this case the basic idea is to increase thermal conductivity by adding a highly conducting solid into the relatively low conducting PCM thus increasing overall or bulk conductivity. If the PCM is required to flow, the solid must be porous, such as a mesh. Solid composites such as fiberglass or Kevlar prepreg for the aerospace industry usually refer to a fiber and a matrix. A thermal composite is not so clearly defined, but could similarly refer to a matrix in the PCM which is of course usually liquid and or solid depending on conditions. They are also meant to discover minor elements in the earth. Applications Applications of phase change materials include, but are not limited to, thermal energy storage, conditioning of buildings, such as ice storage, cooling of heat and electrical engines, cooling, food, beverages, coffee, wine, milk products, greenhouses, medical applications, transportation of blood, operating tables, hot cold therapies, treatment of birth asphyxia, human body cooling under bulky clothing or costumes. Waste heat recovery, off-peak power utilization, heating hot water and cooling, heat pump systems, passive storage in bioclimatic building architecture, smoothing exothermic temperature peaks in chemical reactions, solar power plants, spacecraft thermal systems, thermal comfort in vehicles, thermal protection of electronic devices, thermal protection of food, transport, hotel trade, ice cream, etc. Textiles used in clothing, computer cooling, turbine and let chilling with thermal energy storage, telecom shelters in tropical regions. They protect the high-value equipment in the shelter by keeping the indoor air temperature below the maximum permissible by absorbing heat generated by power-hungry equipment such as a base station subsystem. In case of a power failure to conventional cooling systems, PCMs minimize use of diesel generators, and this can translate into enormous savings across thousands of telecom sites in tropics. Fire and safety issues Some phase change materials are suspended in water, and are relatively non-toxic. Others are hydrocarbons or other flammable materials, or are toxic. As such, PCMs must be selected and applied very carefully, in accordance with fire and building codes and sound engineering practices. Because of the increased fire risk, flame spread, smoke, potential for explosion when held in containers, and liability, it may be wise not to use flammable PCMs within residential or other regularly occupied buildings. Phase change materials are also being used in thermal regulation of electronics. See also, heat pipe. References. Further reading, Rau, S. Phase change materials. Annual Review of Materials Research 39. 25 a euro 48. Bibcode, 2009 and RMS 39. 25 a doi, 10.1146 slash an eurythmat co82908-145405.